Though it may be wishful thinking for some, especially due to the high price of land, an online user posed a rather interesting question to Singaporeans. In a news forum, the individual gave Singaporeans a hypothetical scenario, asking them if they would prefer to buy a higher-end condominium or more modestly appointed land property if they had a budget of two to three million dollars. Let's say you have a budget of two to three million dollars. The online user wrote on Sunday, December 17th. Would you prefer to buy a higher-end condominium or more modestly appointed landed property? The user then shared, When I was younger, I always dreamed of living in a landed property because of the outdoor area and the appeal of being on the ground floor, which felt safer than being high up. I have always wondered why people would spend so much on a condominium when they could potentially buy a landed property for an equivalent amount. However, as I have grown older, I feel that my perspective is shifting. The online user then compared the pros and cons of living in a landed property with those of living in a condominium. With landed properties, the quality of living doesn't seem as high because you need to act as your own property manager and the maintenance of facilities can be challenging. The post read. The upside is the larger living space. In contrast, condos offer a smaller space and some have a significantly higher price per square foot than landed properties. While you lose out on having your own outdoor area and car porch, the standard of living feels higher. As I age, I find myself preferring fewer in terms of quantity material possessions and less clutter, which simplifies my life. So. Given the choice between these two, would you opt for a higher-grade condo or a lower-grade landed property? There was quite a divide in responses to the question. While some online users said they would prefer living in a landed property, others found the cost of maintaining it too much of a hassle. On the other hand, while some said they would prefer living in a condominium for its facilities and accessibility to public transport, Others brought up the issue of pesky neighbours.